Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to get rid of glare in glasses. We got a great tutorial. Let's jump into Photoshop. Alrighty, so here's our image for today. Our subject looks great, but as you can see, we have some glare in the glasses. Now this comes in kind of like two different problems. First is that the glare is green, so we got to take care of the color, but it's also a bit lighter than my subject's skin. So we got to darken it up and make sure to match the contrast with the skin underneath as well. So we're gonna start off by taking care of the color. And we're gonna do that with a brush tool on a new layer. And we're just gonna simply paint and then change the layer blend mode to color. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's create a new layer here. And then I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool. And then we're just gonna start with this eye. All you have to do is hold Alt or Option to sample a color. So we're gonna sample from right around the eye and go ahead and start painting. Now, when I start painting in, you're gonna see it's just a normal brush as of now. So right over here on the right hand side where it says normal, these are our blending modes. We're gonna change this from normal. I'm gonna go all the way down to the very, very bottom to where it says color. There we go. So now that it says color, I'm actually just painting in with this color. So I can hold Alt or Option and sample the colors around my subject's skin. There we go, and start painting it in. Now, you wanna do quite a bit of sampling here. I don't wanna just like sample this color and then paint it everywhere, because look, it's not gonna look that right. Color is very different from shadows and highlights. Midtones, all of these colors are gonna be quite different. So just be sure to sample areas that have similar values to wherever you're painting. Now I can do the same thing with our subject's eye. I'm gonna sample the color, here we go, and paint right around this way. So right now, all I'm worried about is color. And you can see, if I don't do the right color, it's not a big deal. Just hold Alt or Option, sample a new color, and start painting there again. So we can get rid of all of this green cat color cast really nice and easily. Fantastic. Now, if you guys wanna follow along, you can actually download this image and this PSD totally for free. It's on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. You can see, even in our subject's eyes, it's like this yellowish color towards the center here. Okay, so we're gonna sample and paint that out. And then it's kind of like this other greenish color towards the edges. So we wanna make sure we include that when we're sampling our colors. Fantastic. And this side's looking pretty good. Now, this is something you can always come back and fix up a little bit later. You don't have to get it perfect your first go around. There we go. But I think we're looking pretty good for this eye. Let's just turn that off and on. So this is literally just with the brush tool and we're painting in with a color blend mode. All right, there we go. Let's just bring that a little bit more reddish so it looks a little bit more realistic. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and move on to the other eye. So <laughs> here we're just gonna use the same layer. Again, hold Alt or Option with the brush tool to sample your color, and then we're just gonna paint this in. So it's just gonna take whatever color I'm painting with and replace it with whatever color is there. There we go. And you don't have to be super zoomed in for this. Sometimes it can actually help to zoom out a little bit. But again, when you're painting in shadow area, be sure to select the shadow from the, the color from the shadow area. If you're painting from highlights, be sure to select the color in the highlights. It's gonna help you create a much more realistic uh, representation of what color is actually like. Okay, now here in the top of the eye, I really don't know what color that is. So I'm gonna sample the bottom of the eye, Alt or Option. There we go. And then just kind of paint this in. And then I can always come back in here and refine that a little bit more. For now, I just wanna get rid of like all of that green. There we go. <laughs> and you can see it doesn't look that good now. So we're just gonna hold Alt or Option there sample and kind of come back in and paint. There we go. So it really is kind of a big back and forth. Now for this eye in general, I'm just gonna sample the color from the other eye. So Alt or Option for this other eye, and we're gonna sample and paint it in there. You can get the eye color and the eye surround from that other eye. Now this does take a little bit of uh, like skill <laughs> and a little bit of patience. So. Don't worry, you know, if it doesn't turn out like perfect the first second you're doing this. Um, in prepping for this tutorial, I did this like five or six times and it came out pretty good some of the time and then some of the time I was like, wasn't able to get a good result. So um, if it takes you a couple times, don't don't worry. That's, that's totally natural. This is a relatively difficult thing to do. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab the eye color and paint this in. 
but we're working totally non-destructively. So don't worry about, um, you know, if you mess up, no big deal. You can just paint right over it again. Okay, let's grab this uh, inner eye color here. Fantastic. And paint it in right there on the inner side of the eye. Okay, now this looks pretty good. We can always come back and add to this later on, but I think we're off to a good start. So let's make this invisible and back visible again. So you can see the color looks pretty good at this point, but we still need to adjust our light values. It's much too light because we're reflecting some of the glare of the glasses as well. So we're gonna go ahead and darken that and match the contrast. And we're gonna do that with the levels adjustment layer. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Now, the first thing I need to do is make a selection around this area. I don't wanna affect the whole image. So we're gonna grab our lasso tool. In fact, I'm gonna use this polygonal lasso tool there we go, it's just gonna allow me to draw some straight lines. So let's go ahead and click here at the top, and then as you can see, I'm just gonna follow this line for the glasses straight down there. There we go, to right about there. Move on to the right-hand side, and then kind of follow this up here along the top. Fantastic. So there's our selection. Now with this selection active, we're gonna go ahead and grab a levels adjustment layer. You can go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to levels. Hit okay. So it's gonna load that selection that we just made automatically into the layer mask of this levels adjustment layer. So any changes that I make here are automatically gonna only be in that area. And you can see, I'm just gonna darken it down a little bit. I can make my darks a little bit darker if I need some contrast in there, and I can make my lights darker or my lights lighter. There we go. Something like that looks pretty good for now. So let's just make that invisible and visible again. Now you can see a little bit of an edge there. So there's a couple of things you could do. I can use my brush tool and simply paint white right there on the edge to kind of like feather this up a little bit. Or I can just go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and I can blur the edge of the selection just a little bit. Now, it's really difficult to like completely eliminate any sense of a line, like to have there be no line at all. Um, so what we're gonna be doing in just a second is coming in and adding a little bit of spot healing, and that's just gonna help us remove the line. But as you can see, it looks much, much better. Now, it's important to note here that your levels adjustment layer will affect your color. So I wanna actually take that and bring that underneath my color layer. And that's gonna mean that the color that I make is gonna override whatever my levels adjustment layer does. So my levels adjustment at this point is basically just affecting my lights and darks. Okay, let's do it again. So we're gonna move over to this other eye. There we go. And we wanna start off with our selection. So L for the lasso tool. We're gonna click here on this side. We're gonna go all the way over to the other side and then just click a bunch of times up on the top of the glasses there. Hold the space bar if you need to move around. There we go, fantastic. So we have our selection active. Now we're gonna grab another levels adjustment layer. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over here to levels. Hit okay. And this time, let's see what we want to do. We'll zoom out a little bit. Maybe we'll want to make our darks a little bit darker. We want to add some contrast back because we kind of like missed out our contrast, right? Maybe we want to bring our midtones up. There we go. And you can just turn that off and on to see how that looks. I think all in all, that's looking quite a bit better. Maybe our highlights just come down a little bit in brightness. There we go. I do think the shadows need to get a little bit darker. Uh, especially in this area, but if I do it too much, it's going to just affect the whole area. Uh, it, it's just going to be like a little bit too much. There we go. So I can, I can do another levels adjustment layer just right over there on the eye. Okay, now let's click on our layer mask here. We're going to go to filter, blur, and I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. Just give it a super small Gaussian blur that just blurs the edge. And that's going to allow me to kind of paint in a little bit better and it's gonna make this not as obvious that we just have a sharp edge there. Okay, now let's do one more levels adjustment layer. I want this just visible over here where the eye is. So let's just use our lasso tool. Okay, we can just make a simple selection like this. Go to layer, down to new adjustment layer. Again, we're gonna to go to levels. There we go. And let's just make our darks a little bit darker. And I'm gonna make my lights a little bit lighter. We're just kind of enhancing our contrast here a little bit. Now, with this layer mask, I can just use my brush tool. So let's hit B for the brush tool, and I can paint black where I don't want this to be visible, and white where I do want it to be visible. There we go. So I just wanted to make that contrast a little bit more, especially right there inside of the eye, because it just seemed like it was uh, a little bit lacking, like there wasn't enough contrast there before. 
So we're looking pretty good as of now. I'm gonna go ahead and name all of our layers. So when you download this PSD, just follow the link right down below, it's totally free. You can kind of see exactly what we did. So this is our color layer here. Let's just double click and call this color. And you can see it's still not perfect, but it's looking much better. And at this point, again, all I have to do is hit B for the brush tool and I can simply sample areas and paint in the color. So I can do this at any point in time. Maybe I'll sample a little bit less saturated color here. There we go. Maybe it's something like that. Fantastic. So this is kind of the hardest part, in my opinion, is getting, getting the colors right. There we go. Let's just paint a little bit less color there. And don't forget, you can always sample this other eye and paint over here. Like if you're not able to get the perfect skin tones, whatever, if you were happy with one area, just go ahead and sample that and then paint it in for the other area. All right. There we go. And this levels adjustment layer, I want to make it that visible right over here over the eyelashes as well. That's just going to make them a bit darker. Fantastic. So all in all, I think we're looking pretty good. Now we do have still a little bit of a visible line here where we like actually lightened up or sorry, darkened up this area, the sunglasses. So what we're going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to hit J and this is going to be for my healing brush tool. And this I just want to use to get rid of this line that we can see kind of like running right along there. So we're going to make a brush nice and small. I'm going to hold alt or option to sample. And then we're just going to paint right over top of this line. That's just going to make the line kind of like blurry, kind of like go away. There we go. So we don't see where the glare stops and the glasses start. There we go. Fantastic. Right through the eye. Just use a nice small brush and you can get all this little detail. Nice, looking good. Okay, so let's just make that layer off and on. And as you can see, it just kind of gets rid of the like very obvious line between glare and our subject's eye. Let's move over to the other side and then we can take care of the similar thing. We just have like a line that's kind of running through right there as well. So Alt or Option to sample right next to it. There we go. And here we can just take care of a couple of these little lines that are super visible. And we are almost done. Let's just zoom out and see if anything is pretty noticeable. Um, I find when I'm doing work like this, it's helpful to zoom in for details and then you wanna kinda zoom out so you can see it like more on a global scale. There we go. Fantastic. I think this is looking really, really good. All right, and just get rid of like a little bit of glare up there as well. Just like some little speckles in the glass and things like that. All right, and I'm gonna go back to my color layer and I think I needed a little bit more color right here. So you can add this color at any point in time. Again, this is in my opinion, kind of the most difficult step in the process. So don't worry if you need to come back and work on the color a couple times. I know that I definitely needed to do that. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Wow, this looks really good. Let's go ahead and group everything. So I'm gonna just shift click all those layers, control or command G. Let's take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. Thanks so much for watching. As always, a free way to support the channel is to give this video a like. Send me a comment right down below. Let me know what you would like to learn in Photoshop or Lightroom. And if you want to get more free videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.